All right, so good day from this side. And today we are at our bungalow house in Akimoda. Okay, so here is where we do our nursery as well as recently we started with our black soldier fly production. Because it's very hard to get the black soldier fly around this side, uh, we started by buying some from outside. That's the few ones that we got. Yes, that's the larvae. So we started with the hatching and everything. We got some flies and um, happily they've been able to lay eggs. We've hatched them and now we have some um, larvae and all that. And so we have one of our managers who is handling our black soldier fly production. So quickly I'll go inside so that we have a very quick interaction with him and see the way forward with our black soja fly production because our target is to get 10 pounds of um, larvae to feed our livestock because black soja flies have a very good protein um, uh, percentage that's a crude protein it's very high it's around 45 percent crude protein all right so because we want to avoid the competition when it comes to uh, food protein with regards to giving them to the livestock um, we, we decided to um, use this uh, cheaper option that's the raising of the black soja fly to feed our livestock that's the ducks as well as uh, our income and pig uh, farm that we'll be doing so quickly uh, stick and stay with me as we go inside and not to forget that um, with our catfish we also like to um, add the uh, black soldier fly to their meal so that everything will be very sumptuous with high protein for them to grow. So come with me as we go there and see our black soldier fly for that. Okay, so um, like I said, I'm here with the uh, Komna. Komna is in charge of our black soja fly production, and I think we have some uh, amazing flowers. So yes, for me sometimes it confuses me a lot whether they are pupae, they are larvae, or what. But I know the black soja fly. So this is our setup that we have here. And uh, quickly, I won't talk much. I will hand over everything to Kapda to educate us more about our production and our target. Like I said, our target is to get uh, 10 tons of uh, black sweater fly production as the larvae so that we can be able to use it to feed our livestock. All right. Um, okay, once again, let me say good morning, good afternoon, good evening to our cherished viewers. Um, I'm Kabna in charge of the Black Soldier Fire in Pork African trade. Um, some months ago, our boss decided to extend our production to livestock. Um, and we consider some portion of the catfish and the tilapia. Mostly, they feed them with um, higher protein, and we got to know that the Black Soldier Fire is rich in protein. So, we decided, and um, from the data I have over here, we got our first lava and on the February 28th, we started with these structures. Um, this was a, a test test structure, that's why you get it over here. So from next week going, you will not get a video from this one again. We are going to extend it to a bigger um, structure. So on the February 18th, we get our lava and we place them in a bowl like this one. We place it in the net and about two weeks, we saw our first fly on February 28, February 28. So we started with um, the method of correction, the eggs. And after some days, this is our quick burn and we have to mix it. We have our water over here. We have to mix it. You don't have to make it too watery, but when you place your hand on it, and you can see that there's water coming. So when you get the feed for the egg correction like this, have to get a bowl. When you get the bowl, this bowl will serve them. Some of the eggs will be at the latter part of the corrector. We use this thing for it. So we have to get a bowl, we place them inside so that when some of the eggs 
force into the bowl. After everything, you can put them into the feed for further hatching. So let me take you how we take up our trap. When you come here, since we have rice in the net, you have to open it small and let's say hand level like this one. Then you take the trap outside. Take it outside and you place it into the net. Since you are, don't have much time, you just take one as an example. So like this, you bring it out to where you have the tree. Then guess what? So you have to um, watch outside. Some of the lovers um they will lay outside. So first you have to watch and see if there's no eggs. Someone may ask why are we having this one? Um, we see we have some feed in the net that give us some smell for the female to come here and lay their eggs. So some of them lay directly into the feed and it says um, the feed you can't put on the dry um, wheat bran to prevent the, the hot um, eggs coming out some clam at top and they will come and settle over there since here is dry they will dry up and they will die that's why we have some over here you see you cannot get them all alive so we have to sacrifice some to get others for the production so this is how the whole thing is so we have to remove the rubber band we have over here After this, then you remove this one gently. So I can see we have eggs over. Like I was saying, you can see there's a there's a lava here. This one is small, and I can see there's a egg spot over here. Well, maybe this one lay the day we were collecting. After we were collect, so during the third day or the fourth day the egg hatch and you can see that this export has been hatched so this one when they hatch they go into the feed we have in the net but we have some egg over here which I'm um, fortunate they couldn't hatch and we got it at the hatching day so this is how we do for the egg correction and I said you don't have to be too watery by something like this it's okay so we have our laying machine over here so we see there's an x over here so what you do is to gently okay someone may ask it's not um, advisable to place the egg direct on the feed but uh, that's what um we were introduced and from our test and what we are coming to show you it works more than 95 percent um, you can get something on top of the feed and place the eggs on it for them to hatch. After hatching, they will enter the feed. But it's the other way around. When you put the egg direct on the feed, too, it works perfect. So these are the eggs to do gently. And you place it on the feed. Place it on the feed. So you don't have to open the feed and place the egg inside no just like this just leave it on top of the feed like this then we have some small here then we do it also like this place it on it then you take this one and check where the covering was if some are on it place it gently you can see some here so place it gently After everything, then you open this again and see if we have some inside here. So you open it gently again. Oh, wow. Still have some eggs over here. So this was what has been explained. So now we have some eggs here. Gently on the feed. Okay. So that is that. So this is the first stick and we were able to get about three spots of eggs. 
so this is how we do it normally after checking all the sticks we have about eight inside after checking all the sticks this is the process we pass through to correct our x and you have to get the net around when you are going for another one or you are doing something next you have to cover it to prevent the hash file from laying their contaminated x on it so that's how we do everything so as we are about to explain everything to you we have to take up the stick into the big bowl and use our net to cover the feed we have and get you the explanation so after correcting the x the x takes about four days to hatch the eggs takes about four days to hatch. So let's say you have corrected the eggs in this particular bowl. You have to cover it with net or maybe a bowl like this. But um, when you're covering it with a bowl like this, you have to leave a gap because um, the feed brand is going to be fermented and there will be a heat. So you can get some of the net, let's say the mosquito net, or you can create a room for the eggs correction. We are going to do all in our nest. Um, big structure and the next video that will be coming you will see that we have extend ourselves and we have everything on point sorting machine and where we have to correct our X closely with net and other stuff so what we do here is that we have some of our net that we use for our fly so when you collect the X like this we place it inside like this let me show you so after getting it like this we have this net since we were starting we start with this net so this one is free we use it for our air correction so when we get it like this we place it inside then we close the net and we have to make sure that here we have um, good ventilation so when the edge hatch after the four days that's what you see after the four days you see them like this after the four days you see them like this so someone may ask why we have the dry feed brand over here. The dry feed brand over here prevents the small larvas that's almost five days old, four days old, three days old from climbing to top. They used to climb always and we just even correct some down, they clamp always. So we put the feed brand here to prevent them from clamping. So we have to allow them here for almost 13 to 18 days and you have to make sure that the feed over there is enough when you find out that in the middle of the 13 to 18 days they have totally feed on the wheat ground or the house waste you gave to the hatch eggs you can sort them out or let's say if they are small doing the sorting you may lose a lot of lovers you can divide it into two the lava plus the feed and you will divide it and give them a new feed. So that's what we do. But if the feed is enough, it can take them up to the 13 or the 18 days and you see that they are becoming big and they are changing from the lava state to the pre pupa state. At the pre pupa state, they don't feed again. So that is that for this. So when it gets to the 13 days, to the 18 days, this is what we are going to see. Um, we just um, do this sorting uh, this morning and you can see it was like this one um, I gave them enough food for them to feed from the one after the hatching to 13 or 18 days and um, this almost less than 13 days someone we ask why is it less than 13 days and you have some being black like this one it means they are getting into the pupa stage this one is a full pre pupa stage and the secret was that we were using wheat blunt throughout since this is our start and we wanted to build more lovers so and the wheat blunt is rich it's rich and when it comes to the um, black soldier fry development so the wheat blunt um, gave the lovers enough protein or carbohydrates to feed to become bigger and change into the pre pupa stage early as much as possible before even the 13 to the 18 days life cycle they have to pass through from hatching to the pre pupa stage and um, the feed brand is cost um, effective so when we get to the max production you have to add house waste or the market waste to it 
So from this stage, what we are going to do is that um, we can see that some of the lovers inside are small. So this one you cannot take them out from feed for, for the pupa stage. They will die as you prepare, um, you prepare the big ones this one to the pupa stage or even this ones they are getting into the pre pupa stage so this one we can take them out from the feet but looking at this ones and this and that we cannot so what we do is to do ray sorting the ray sorting is where we will pick all the lovers entering into the pre pupa stage to um open bowl or the empty bowl where we don't have feet then we introduce the small ones yet to enter the pupil plastic to feed again like what we have over here that is what we do when we sort them out then we give it to we give them another feed and you can see from this ones that those that were not getting into the pupil plastic when we they don't feed again but others they are not yet at the pupil plastic it means they have to be given a feed for them to feed like about a week and that is what we did we gave we saw this one out and that the ones that were not at the pre uh, pre stage we gave them feed and let's see what we can see here so we can see that they are now at the pre stage and we can do a sorting and even this one when we are done and we see that some are still small and they are not yet at the pre pupa stage it means we have to give them another fish so we are going to sort them out and those that show this color and even like this you can see that they have turned from the cream to light brown brownish or something else so even all these ones have to leave the feet and prepare them from the, to the um, pupa stage. So that's how it is. And someone may ask, why are we seeing this ones? This is the first um, skin. When you sort them out from the feet, and you want to prepare them to the pupa stage for feed production or fries production, they firstly remove the first skin. So you see them all, even if you have about 1,000 or 2,000, all the lovers are going to wear off the fair skin and this one we don't throw them away they are all rich in protein and um, when they get to this particular stage they will cease movement and when they cease movement at this stage they don't feed that's why we don't have feed in this bowl at this stage they will move like this and maybe about eight days you will see them motionless they will not feed they will not move again so at that particular stage is where you are going to determine the amount that you want to turn them into fries and the amount that you are going to use as a feed so you just um, gather the ones you want to use as a feed and place them in the nets and the ones you want to use as a feed you have to heat them to a specific temperature for them to dry then you melt them into powder and mix it with your feed to feed your livestock so this is a short video as we are starting our black soldier fry production inside Bok African Trade Company and one we ask uh, the amount of eggs one fly can lay is about 500 to 900. We got, um, like I said, we bought about um, 60 grams from our purchasing agent and we have turned them into numerous lovers. We have this bowl, we have this one, and this one. And even when we were doing the sorting for this one, we weigh more than 600 grams. So that is how the laying is done 500 to 900 eggs. So when you do everything perfectly, you can, you can you will do more. And uh, the target about um, 10 tons a month can be reached. So we are turning all these lovers into flies. So we are going to mount about 10 nets in the next production and we are going to see a lot of lovers in our next video. Thank you for watching and stay with us when you need black soldier flies for your livestock feed and other stuff. You just please 
and order with us and in a month time you will supply any amount that you want for your feed. Thank you and stay tuned. Bye.